do it. I'm here today to try and um, push myself into doing something different. I struggle to leave the house. I'm, I'm frightened of meeting people, that they'll judge me. We'll get this heart rate monitor. I had really bad um, anxiety attacks and I suffered post-traumatic stress syndrome. Being the job that I'm in now as a teacher, I, I, I've kind of felt that anything I have to do it has to be perfect. And I think with that, anxiety has crept in. The people that have been selected for this do have some issues around anxiety and stress. Got very anxious today. I was anxious on the on coming here. What are we going to be doing? Am I just going to make a fool of myself? We're going to get you guys to be jumping off of these boards. And then coming in and being told that we were going to jump from the top board was just, it, yeah, very frightening. This challenge is going to be difficult. They're going to be anxious, it's going to be scary, and we're going to help them through that. When you're standing kind of poolside and looking up at it, it's really high. I've always been terrified of heights. The fear is it's more what happens when you jump off, you know, how, how are you going to land? One of the huge parts. What I can do is inspire them and motivate them to get themselves off the board. Now, I've got my psychologist, Laura, and I've got Greg here too to help me with that. They say go, you go. Whatever you're doing today, whenever you're stood on the end of that board, just think about how incredible you will feel when you land in the water and you come up to the surface and you've actually done it. I think it's an incredible challenge and it's something I want to do. Whether I'll be able to do it is something else. Let's get your feet on the end. Yeah. I think it it will just mean I'm not going to let myself be ruled by things that scare me. <laughs> OK, let's come back. Let's come back for a bit. Let's come back. Come back. I'm kind of doing it for the students to show them that actually I can try something I'm probably not going to enjoy to start off with, but then show them actually that at the end of it, it's, it's going to be a rewarding thing. I'll hopefully do it, yeah. I want to prove to myself that, you know, I can overcome things that sometimes you, you, you know, you fear to do. When I was young, um, my grandma used to take me swimming and she held up a five pound note and if I went off the 10 metre board, she'd give me this. And uh, so I did climb all the stairs and, and I walked forward, but when I looked down, I couldn't do it. And I really like to do that as a personal thing. Five pounds on this jump. I can't do it, Chris. I fail. Don't think it, just do it, please. I feel as though I don't really put myself out there to achieve things. But then maybe I've got now to that stage where you're thinking, you know, come on. If you are going to achieve something, you've got to do it now. You've, you've got to go out and, I suppose, prove to yourself that you can do these things. So if you do this, I swear it will change your life forever. I've never done anything like this before. So if I do this, that's pushing yourself and, and not having that comfort buffer. Right, we're going to give it one last try. We're going to give it one last try. Stay there, stay there. You're all right, you're all right. I'm going to stay there. I want to go. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I go. can see it, I can see it. So if I go off the top of there, heck, I'll be amazed at myself if I go off the top of there, to be honest. I wish I could be good at something. You got it. One more count, right? Ready? One, two, three, go. Yeah! that you can set your mind to, you can achieve.